everyone you're in for a wild ride because we're going to discuss the backstory of the ford mustang so what happened to the ford mustang and what did it look like before it became muscle car well it was a sedan and a convertible in 1965 as it was day ago until nothing else really in the 60s the ford mustang wasn't named the mustang just yet the second day of the ford mustang was launched in 1974 it was based of the ford maverick or the ford pinto subcompact car the third generation ford mustang was made until 1979 it was built out of a fox platform chassis it wasn't long before the ford mustang got more classier than it was 1994 to 1998 it became an svt or sn95 as we call it so we began as the s281 in 2005 also known as ford mustang saline as you may not know the ford mustang was a car of pop culture such as Steve McQueen's Bullet from 1968, Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage, The Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, and pretty much something else. The Ford Mustang also appears in Transformers as this 2005 model was used. We now look on from 2015 to 2017 as the Ford Mustang got a more aggressive look. As you may want to ask me this question what does the ford ford mustang mean and how did it get its name well it's quite obvious really it was based off the name of a wild horse of the same name known as the mustang mustang is a type of american workhorse known to be very wild and very fast and this is why the mustang became so fast right now now using a V8 and a V6 engine, the Ford Mustang gained its popularity as one of the most predominant muscle cars of its era. You guys may be thinking about what does the Ford Mustang would look like in this year? Well, it's quite obvious. It's got a more narrow headlights and a bigger grille. It's got a more futuristic dashboard look. It was given the name the Ford Mustang Dark Horse yes a very savage and spooky name for a car as this the list goes on without a saying there's also a lead Mustang character in this point and it is the Ford Mustang 429 boss produced from 1969 to 1976 it's one of the most badass muscle cars produced in its era the ford mustang also appears in need for speed as one of the most iconic ones ryan gosling's drive from 2011 was a great one as well the ford mustang has lived up to its name and traction life